Hello everyone. In this, in this tutorial, I will show you how to do electrical analysis in ANSYS. In ANSYS workbench, it's, you can easily to simulate electric voltage. Uh, over here you can see it. But the problem is, do you know how to calculate power and how to calculate resistance of the component? Uh, you can't directly get that number from the workbench. So in this tutorial, the most important thing I will show you how to calculate resistance and the power in analysis using APDL. Second, I will show you how to export data to file. So this is a model. And you can use simple equation to calculate resistance from this side to another side to be 2 ohm. And you can calculate power. I will walk, walk you through step by step how to, how to do analysis. So this is the electric analysis. It's a DC analysis. First of all, you have, you have to specify engineering data. Over here, your, the only data you need is the resistivity. Uh, 20 degree C is a resistivity of is a resistive value. We will use this value to do simulation. Second, you have to specify the geometry. You can either import geometry from somewhere else or create in the workbench. So this is a sheet we will use. Now you can set up the model. Uh, first of all, you have to specify the geometry. Of here, geometry. You have to specify the material. Check assignment to select the material you will use. Then to mesh, you can create a mesh. I already created it. Then to the setting. For electric analysis, at least you need to specify the, the, for, the voltage boundary condition. In this case, we will specify the zero voltage for here, zero volt at the least surface, and the five volt at the least surface. We can directly use this one to simplify 5 volt over here. In that way, it's very hard to calculate the current and the power. We will use another way to apply the boundary condition using a PDL. The idea is that you have to apply the voltage at this surface and the current will go through each node. Normally, it's very hard to calculate total current. Uh, we can use another way. First of all, we couple all the nodes in this circuit to be same voltage. Then, we apply voltage at this master node. In this way, as long as you get the current through this node, that's the total current. And then you can easily to calculate resistance and the power. So this one is to select all the nodes in that surface. And this value I will show you how, how to get this value later. This one is just to apply the boundary condition of voltage. That means in that surface it has the same voltage. Then you can get a master node. Use, use this one. Then apply the voltage of 5 volt to that node. So then I will show you how to get this number. Go back to a mesh. And you have to make sure 
you already select this one, selection information over here. And then select a node, click this button, and then click a, a node in less surface. And you check over here, this direction to X. So that means all the node in this surface has the same X value. So this is the value we used over here. And then set up a solution. Over here, I only want to see the electrical voltage distribution. Again, you have to use a PDL to get like, the current or calculate resistance. This one just get the reaction data of the current. You look over here. This one is defined in over here. This is a master node. So over here, you, you get the current through that must node, means you already get the total current. Right. Then we need to get uh, the current. You have to define a array to receive reaction data. This is the definition of the array. And this one is the current data is saved in this array. So this one is just as a uh, safe let current to user actually this one just uh, just one number then use another variable to save this number to. so you already have i0 the total current then you can calculate power you can calculate resistance all right next i show you how to write to file you can use this command to save f Anything you want, you want for, to the file. Open. So this is a file name, extension name. This one just save resistance to that file. And this one just save the power to the, to the file. Now everything is ready. We click this one. Click solve. Uh oh, there's an error. Uh, this one just happens because you already have data. In this simulation, already already go through the process. So it already have the data. And and you, you, you are using APD for some reason it will show this error. And uh, over here, you have to do this step. First, click. Then you, cre you have to clear all the data. Then click solve again. Check for here. All of them are green check mark. Everything is going through. So this is electric distribution. 5 volt of here, 0 volt of here. Let's go back to check another file. This file. Go back to a project. <clears throat> over here, you can search the file. So this is the file we used. Over here, you look at DC resistance is a, is a slightly more than two ohm. But over here, we set to should be two ohm. Then there, there's something maybe there's something wrong. Let's go back double check. And over here you can check the temperature simulation in the simulation is 22 degrees C. And do you remember at the beginning I, I told you the material property we will use is for 20 degree. Over here. That's a 20 degree. And this number is for calculation. So we specify 20 degree. Then you create data. Close this file. Then solve again. Forty-two. 
go back to check the file click see over here DC resistance is a 2 ohm exact same as the calculation and uh, you can calculate the power okay thanks for watching